Cena, drummer extraordinaire, has caught the attention of music and drumming enthusiasts worldwide with her incredible drum covers, collaborations with musicians, and original music released on the album She Might Project. Her fame skyrocketed in 2013 with the launch of her YouTube channel, Cena Drums, as she displayed her passion and remarkable skills in breathing new life into songs of different genres. Cena Doring, widely recognized as Cena Drums, was born on the 6th of May 1999 in Marburg, Germany. She described her mother as an amateur piano player who sings all the time, and her father, Michael Doring, as a professional studio and live musician. A member of the German-based tribute band called the Silver Beatles that went on tour across Germany and other European countries. He was also in charge of the live video production for some of their shows. For a concert in the UK, the band's booking agent thought it best for Michael to use an artist's name instead of his German name. So since then, he's been known as Mike Wilbury for his official release. Cena joined her father for the first time on tour when aged just two and found it quite fun. She danced or counted chairs during the sound checks and attended his shows as much as possible. In 2006, Mike wrote a children's musical for his daughters, Cena and Melina, to help them learn the English language through music and invited his friends to be part of the production. Rick Benbow was the voice actor for Toy Soldier Sam, who conversed in English with the German-speaking six-year-old Cena. Ian Watts provided the vocals as well as played drums and bass, Rick on piano and Mike on guitar. Two years later, Ian Watts gathered musicians, including Mike, in his Nottingham studio to record traditional nursery rhymes and give them a pop, folk, or rock feel. The Nursery Rhyme Collection was released in 2009 and was a huge success. When they did German nursery rhymes, Cena was the background singer. Mike said that because of these projects, Cena developed an appreciation for musical instruments. In 2018, as Mike listened accidentally to the nursery rhymes they did, he asked Cena if she would be interested in doing some drum covers of songs from the nursery rhyme collections to help children discover real music and real musical instruments that early. She agreed without hesitation, and the album, Cena's Nursery Rhymes, comprised of 20 songs, including Mary Mary Quite Contrary, I'm a Little Teapot, and Pop Goes the Weasel, was released that year, but only available for download. Cena began drumming at the age of 10. Her father purchased a drum kit for his studio to record live drums, but since he played most instruments except for the drums, it was Cena who took charge of it. She had a talent for rhythm, so drumming felt natural for her. For Cena, it wasn't about playing mindlessly. There had to be a concept to what she was doing. She wanted to make music and said that this was the way she always preferred to play whole songs. It took her a year to learn and acquire the skills for a commercial release and has recorded for her and with her dad since then. Cena considered Brioni Williams' Solstice as the first real album that she was involved in as the main drummer. Brioni was the daughter of Mike's colleague, Matt Williams. Mike produced the album. Cena had only one drum lesson per week for several years. Then in 2017, she joined the Drummers Institute at Creffield for a year of intense study. It helped in all aspects of her playing as she learned different techniques in various genres. As she turned 18, she joined the hard rock band from Cologne called The Giss. On average, they had three to four gigs a month and went on tour across Germany. Being on stage had a different feel than just playing in the studio because she had more direct contact with the audience. As the girl on drums or the lone girl in the band, she was sometimes considered the star and received special attention. She said that people couldn't be more wrong, but she was glad about the positive reactions. Since YouTube was launched in 2005, it's become one of the biggest platforms for musicians. This gave Cena the opportunity to showcase her skills as a drummer. She was 14 when she opened her YouTube channel called Cena Drums, and her first self-taught drum cover was Metropolis Part 1 by Dream Theater. Her father suggested that they record her playing that song and then upload the video onto YouTube. He assisted her with the video and audio recordings and then edited it himself. Simply put, running her channel wouldn't have been possible without her dad. Her repertoire consisted mostly of rock classics or old songs, which many found remarkable, considering she was quite young. Cena said it was because these were songs that she grew up in hearing around the house or when hanging out with her dad. Modern pop music was usually based on programmed drums, and mainstream music was something she didn't really get or develop a fascination for. When she listened to songs, she tried to figure out how the drums were played and how they were recorded. Somehow, this interest was lost in programmed drums. 
However, she kept track of new trends so that she'd continue to grow as a drummer. She said that her channel enabled a girl like her from a small village in Germany to not just share her musical side with the world, but also to play with people from all over. Inspired by the positive reception, she uploaded more covers of popular songs for simple reasons that they would get more clicks. Sina played music that she enjoyed, but generally did covers that non-musicians would find interesting as well. If the song was without a drum part, Sina was free to add one in. However, if a drumless track wasn't available, they would try to remove the drums from the original recording by using filters. Doing covers was fun as she got to learn the different styles of various drummers. She rehearsed the drum parts of a song for three to four hours for two days, then did three takes for each song so they could use the best parts. They had about 10 hours of film to work with on producing four to six minute videos. To get the numbers up on her channel, she realized that she needed to post videos at least once a week, and this meant that she had to practice a lot. Admittedly, she was lazy when it came to practicing, but wanting her channel to flourish became her motivation. With the pressure of releasing a new video each week, she focused on much simpler songs. So far, the most difficult track that she played, at least from the technical aspect, was Deep Purple's Burn. It featured two bar 16th fills that should be played very fast. For her, the challenge was to play the single stroke at a high speed. With over 65 million views on YouTube since it was uploaded in October 2016, Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits became the most watched drum cover, not just on her channel, but YouTube-wide. She said that she based the drum part on the style of Terry Williams in the 80s Alchemy Live performances of Dire Straits. It wasn't a cover of Pick Withers, version in the original studio recording. Cena shared that she grew up in a time when a car still had a CD player, and her father had a collection of his favorite songs, including a live version of Sultans of Swing. It was the only version of the song that she knew and was being played constantly in the car. When doing a drum cover of this Dire Straits song, she tried doing a drum part of the studio version, but had difficulty learning it. In the end, they used a drumless track of the studio version and just added the drum part in the live version, thus giving it a more energetic vibe. This, she said, was perhaps the reason why it garnered so much interest and likes in YouTube. Many were curious to know if she monetized her channel. Despite having millions of views and subscribers, she didn't earn much from YouTube because most of those views were from drum covers of copyrighted material, and the advertising money generated would automatically go straight to those who hold the copyright. That said, not receiving money from a video she and her dad worked on hard wasn't the worst thing that could happen. Cena found herself in a bind when she uploaded School by Supertramp. It wasn't just blocked, but she was also issued a copyright strike. It expired after 90 days, but if she got three strikes during that period, YouTube would remove the channel. She has since learned to check YouTube's media library for songs that are allowed to be covered, so avoiding problems. Cena made little money from her own songs since they weren't popular and so had fewer viewers. Because of this, she opened a Patreon account, a membership platform that enabled content creators to run a subscription service from which they can earn money. Considering that Patreon is a small, closed group, she could comment on the feedback and answer questions personally. She said she was fortunate to have supporters who enabled her to make a living out of playing music. As tempting as it was to continue doing drum covers, the artist in her wanted to play original songs. Fortunately, having a songwriter and arranger for a father was quite helpful. In 2015, she collaborated with numerous musicians, songwriters, and singers to create a high-quality album called The Chi Might Project, released the following year. Cena revealed that in her desire to work with a diverse group of musicians, which was logistically difficult, they formed a virtual band and recorded 15 songs with 15 different musicians who were active on YouTube. As the word spread, others wanted to be a part of the project as well. Her second album was made available in 2018. Cena said that today's mainstream music was short, lacking intros or interludes, and it usually began with catchy vocals, primarily because most people had become impatient and unable to concentrate for more than two minutes. Despite it being what was said to be a surefire way to become successful in the music industry, she decided to stay true to herself and not play by society's rules. Her first single from the She Might Project the Third was an 18-minute long instrumental piece called Downstream, with her father was on guitar and bass, released in 2020. Since that single became a fan favorite, they recorded Upstream in 2022. 
After the launch of the Chi Mai project, Sina, along with her dad and his colleague Rick Van Bow, started Your Sound Tube. They collaborated with other musicians to record instruments from scratch instead of using an existing backing track in doing original covers. In September 2017, they released Your Songbook, comprised of 14 tracks, including Sounds of Silence, Fever, and Something. Their first official production was a stripped-down acoustic version of Nothing Matters by Metallica, with Jaden Riley on vocals and Rick on piano. Cena's father did the audio mix and video editing. It was uploaded on Jaden's YouTube channel in 2016, but didn't take off as they expected it to. Unable to accept that, they recorded a full band version of the song with Cena on the drums and posted it on her channel three months later. It was a hit, and much to their surprise, the acoustic version was picked up and became viral on Facebook and YouTube. In 2021, Cena joined a rock orchestra from Prague, Czech Republic, called Rock the Opera, for the remainder of their tour. Her participation began in Barcelona, Spain, followed by Stockholm, Bergen, Weisbaden, and Birmingham. She was on drums as the orchestra performed rock songs from bands such as ACDC, Queen, Led Zeppelin, and Pink Floyd. After touring with them for a year and a half across Europe, she announced in January 2023 via her Facebook page that she wouldn't be part of the summer tour this year, due to other projects that she would be working on. In her second year as a jazz and pop student at the Art Easy Academy of Music in Arnhem, Netherlands, Sina worked with three fourth-year Art Easy students, Selena von Borsham, Philip Kellisto, and Niles Newman, to write and produce a music video filmed entirely in one take. The project involved 20 musicians and was uploaded onto Sina Drum's YouTube channel, but it wasn't her idea. It was conceptualized by Selena, Philip, and Niles. The graduating students wanted to do a project and knew that the perfect time to do it was when they still had access to the school's resources. A video was taken of the location to map out the choreography, and then a song was written to match it. They rehearsed several times to make the flow smooth before filming the final MV for two days. The camera followed Sina as she went from one room to another and even down the stairs with musicians stationed at various places while they played different musical instruments and then went along with her to the main stage. Aside from the drums, she played the washboard, boom whacker, triangle, and finger cymbals and was also one of the backing vocals. The MVs garnered over 200,000 views since it was posted in January 2022. As a way of giving back, Cena celebrated her birthdays by raising funds for various causes on programs via Facebook. It was unclear when it all started, but the 2021 birthday fundraiser was for the United Nations Foundation to help countries that were struggling to finance vaccinations for their people. In 2022, she raised money for a nonprofit charitable organization called United Help Ukraine, Inc. That aimed to distribute goods and medical supplies to the people of Ukraine, most affected by Russia's invasion, including those who were displaced and families of those wounded or killed for their fight for independence and freedom. In 2023, the money donated went to the World Food Program, a humanitarian organization that helped fight hunger and save lives. Sina Doring has been acknowledged as the most successful YouTube drummer in Germany. Her channel garnered nearly 1.5 million subscribers, and her videos had more than 600 million views, which featured both original music and covers. She's collaborated with other artists, as she said that this channel was meant to support fellow musicians because, after all, music was supposed to bring people together. Zenith said that she couldn't predict or say how long she would continue recording and producing drum covers, but for now, she found it quite fulfilling. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.